Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely card using the High Tide set um, stamp set, which as you can see has lovely lighthouses and birds and all sorts of lovely sentiments and things on there as well. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do this masking technique um, and then obviously stamping outside the masking. So what we need to start off with is a piece of Whisper White cardstock measuring four and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. And you cut a mask with a circle exactly the same size. So it fits together. It means that you don't have to do the taping down and you can hold it quite easily. So what we're going to begin with is some pull party and a sponge dauber and we are just going to again as I've always said around the edges first into the center circular motions just building up that color and you're going to do it about halfway down the card um, so if you start on the edges and you work out um, you'll get more of a blend through and then we are going to take some marina mist whoops throwing it all over the place and with the marina mist we are going to put that down at the bottom for the sea and again because the mask is exactly the same size as the card it means it's quite easy to just hold it on um, as I say you can stick it down if you want to um, with a little bit of masking tape or washi tape or anything sort of similar um, but we're really just giving just a little bit of a wash at the back now the next color that we're going to do is so I want to give it a little bit of a sunset on this one is we're going to take the peekaboo peach and we are just going to on the sky part just take a little bit dab it off on the outside first and just take it round the edge so again bring it in from off the paper just round onto the edge just to give a little bit of a sunset sort of color okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to put our water in so we need to still have the mask on and um, putting our water on now this water you can do either way up but I found that if you look at it you've got um, a piece that's a little bit more solid than the other that actually works quite well if I get it level on the top of the water now we're going to do this in island indigo which is a slightly darker color because we want it to show up quite nicely so inking it up with the island indigo just move that out of the way so I can ink it up a bit better okay and then we are going to put that right in the center about halfway up and just pressing firmly over on the mask now again lining it up putting it in underneath and where there's some little pieces you can just go over the top on there and so that it goes right the way off just a little bit on that side and swapping hands a little bit on that side so you've now masked it up completely now when you take the mask away you can see you've got the water coming through quite nicely and you've got the complete mask around there so we need to put a sky in and this stamp set has the most lovely little circular sky which means that you don't have to worry about doing another mask to do that so we're going to do that in Daffodil Delight so again stamp that up nicely 
and we're going to put that in the center there and press and then we've got our nice sunny there now the next bit that we need to do is we need to put the birds in now I want it to be fairly subtle on this card so I'm going to use smoky slate I love smoky slate um, because it goes with absolutely everything and we're going to take the birds first of all um, I've pre-mounted them so inking up your birds nicely make sure they're fully inked and then we are going to put the birds so they're slightly on and slightly off because you want to give that not everything in the circle so that it balances and there we've got the birds coming through there nicely and then while we're at it we're going to do the other birds at the top and so again just lining it up so you've got some on and some off just again put that on there bring it out you've got the birds coming up and then we are going to finish off with a little sentiment down at the bottom and again I've chosen um, I can't remember what sentiment I've chosen on here but um, we shall find out when we stamp it won't we so again ink that up nicely and just put that down in the bottom and I've got this nothing little about the light you shine which is rather nice and then just to finish off we are going to put this on um, a card base um, so I've chosen a piece of soft sky cardstock which is a quarter of an inch wider so put that on there and then it's going to be mounted on centre here like that so you can see this is quite a subtle card because I've done it with the smoky slate you wanted it slightly brighter you can do it with um, stays on or our, um, our, our black ink um, any of the black inks would work really well um, and then just as a finishing touch if you can see on this one I've got just a little bit of sparkle on there and what I've used is our lovely dazzling diamonds um, and again all you need to do is where the actual water is is to just take it through and just give it just a little bit of sparkle just running down through on there um, and then obviously when it dries you've got that light coming down off and if you wanted to you can just take it so you've got the sun's rays coming down as well which makes it quite nice on there so there we are a finished card today using the high tide um, if you'd like to go across to my um, website it's amethyststarcrafting.blogspot.com um, there will be more details um, and um, there is a shop button where you can go and uh, purchase any of the items that you've seen today. Thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.